And you're welcome. It's time for What's Up and About. Uh, let's talk Nigeria and our influence. Mm. Let's talk what it's costing us the greatest outside country of Nigeria. In the or world. when it comes to our neighbors. Nigerians are very industrious people, very, very. Uh, they embrace yeah. any culture that they find and often make it their own. It's been said that you won't find in Nigeria, or you will find a Nigerian in every single place that's thriving in the yeah. world, whether they like it or not, even if it's Antarctica. If there's something to sell there, <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> Nigeria so. will make his way yeah. there. Um, so recently in a blog, or what's a blog? Let's go well, here. Yeah, what's a blog? It was a Cameroonian this is blog. More of a, this is more of a podcast. A podcast, yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. They are blogs. Yeah. Um, uh, a podcast. It, it, there was a very interesting um, um, instance where uh, it was shared that a Cameroonian, I think, um, at, a, uh, at an event, took the mic and requested that DJs across Cameroon stop play Nigerian music mm. because it's a bit too much. You can't play Nigerian music from morning to night. And then this resulted in a conversation, a discussion on that uh, podcast where they were asking, hey, why is it so? Is it a bad thing to actually copy uh, uh, cultures? But then I'm looking at it from especially the music po point of view, yeah. how Nigerians have thrived on other people's cultures, whether you like it or not. We, there, it was once Azunto. It was supposed to be Ghanaian. Well, Azunto was, it was from, it, it started from Ghana. Uh, that's yeah. my point, yeah. So yeah. we yeah. took it and we embraced it. And before you knew it, Azunto was a Nigerian beat. There's Ama Piano, yeah. which we've taken and we've, I mean, hey. Ama Piano started, I think, South African. It is South African, yeah, South but African. it's not almost totally Nigerian. Mm -hmm. Apparently, even Jollof is not Nigerian. Yeah. Oh, a whole lot of stuff. But let's not start, let's not start that argument. Jollof let's not start that argument. Jollof started <laughs> in Sierra Leone <laughs> and was, uh, sorry, Senegal, Senegal, and it was perfected yeah. here. It's actually, it's actually Wolof. Right. Yeah. It's a it's a language. It's a people. It's a uh, yeah. tribe. Wolof. So you know the J is actually yeah exactly silent. But yeah. back to Cameroonian but, music. I was talking about my piano and uh, Azunto. Yeah. And then which other one did we steal? Um, even Ankara. No. Even wow. what? Do you know Ankara is originally? Ha! I'm just, they okay. will come for you. Uh, no, it is saying. actually so. Or, so it is tie dye that I know. Tie dye. That's Adire. We can. Yes. That's Adire. The yes, typical, Adire. Yes. Ankara, that really? we've all. Oh, yes, where is it from? Have no idea. There, it's from. It's was. It's it's not the, we used to bring it in from Europe. Yeah, it's not wow. even. We used to bring it in from Europe. Oh, yeah, wow. but anyways, nice. veritable yes, wax. I think we exchanged wow. it for yeah. our Holland. 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 Is. Holland is. <laughs> yes. Why? Yeah. Why are you people like this? <laughs> But, but the thing is, they make so because much money from so us, creative. they don't mind. So and back to the music instance, yeah. is it okay for a set of gr a group of people, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. culturally different from Nigeria, to call for a ban on Nigerian music? Um, What's the So my, my issue is, that? why are we calling it Nigerian music? It's Afro beats. No, music no, is no, universal. Not, I'm saying music is music all over the world. Mm -hmm. There's music for... Beethoven, what country did he come from? I don't know. I love mm. his music. Yeah, comes the bride. Right? Don't come. Exactly. The happy birthday song. Where right? did that come from? Okay. Merry Christmas. Now, if you infuse exactly. the commercial um, uh, um, ness, mm. forgive, I can't find another word. Mm -mm. The, 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 the point, how do I put it now? What? They're pushing Nigeria more than they're pushing Cameroon. How's okay. that affecting them commercially? Yes. So my point. maybe it's, it's, well, they would definitely give the people what they want. If the Same people are requesting for Nigerian mm. music, they will give them. A DJ needs a DJ, his events course. to <laughs> pop, mm -hmm. right? He needs the events to come alive. He will play a Nigerian song and it happens. So if the Cameroonians or the Cameroonian artists mm -hmm. haven't put out some songs of recent, that, that sounds are, Nigerian. No, that so, are making their events making waves now. That pop. People are excited uh -huh. about. Uh -huh. So there's always a way. There's always a way to you know sort of boost your music, your music industry. There are different ways. Collaborations is one of them. Ah, okay. So I was going to say that. Now in the past, and I'm talking about 10, 15 years ago, we had collaborations between Nigerian yeah. music artists and Ghanaian mm -hmm. music artists, which yeah. pushed both cultures mm. fairly well. You had R2Bs. Why were R2Bs yeah. popular? Because mm. they like Nigerian music, we liked their beats. And then, hey, we came together yeah. and we did something. It was so good that sometime recently in the past, you have Nigerian artists sounding like Ghanaian artists. Mm. Yeah. Mr. Easy, yeah. one of the best, by the yeah. way. Yeah. You know? So I look at Awilo. Awilo, for instance, yes. he's Congolese, and we yeah. embraced him in the 90s. Yeah. It was like as if he was Nigerian mm -hmm. at the end of the day. He used to come hang out in Nigeria all the time. All the time. I, I, I love the... the, the, the Meld welding of cultures. Yeah. I like to see what a Nigerian versus a Swahili track would sound like, or Nigerian versus Cameroonian track would sound like. I think that's what should be encouraged, not the hey, just ban it. 
Oh, there is the fact that Inyaya actually adopted the Awilu type, you know, type yeah. of music and everything and point, all that. Yeah. And it's beautiful music that should be universal, like you said from before. But my issue now is a lot of people are not realizing that uh, music is also seasonal. There are mm. seasons for people to enjoy different types of music. Right now, Nigerian artists are hitting and it's great. But it might not be like that in the next two, three mm -hmm. years. Nigerian artists might have to evolve and start adjusting their sound. Yeah. Eventually, some countries, some places are going to get a little bit tired of the, hearing the same sound I over and over again. Oh. As much as you're I'd, saying that, as, okay. as much as you're saying that, I mm -hmm. beg to differ. Because one thing I know Nigerians constantly do is evolve. evolve. And mm -hmm. that's why we happen. I would tend to jump on a lot of other people's songs and other people's beats and all of so that. We're evolving along we are, of with course, their... Exactly. Music. We're seeing the Rema and the Selma Gomez. See how that is literally catching on like Wildfire. Thank you for mentioning Talking that. about Whiskey, Beyonce. I, I, so there's a lot. I, I, so even the Western world, they're mm -hmm. seeing that the best way is not to... Of course, in, when I was growing up, hip-hop was literally the main thing, right? Exactly. Rap and all of that. Mm -hmm. And all the music from the Western. But Nigerians now are the ones if you don't have Nigerian on your song, is like oh, probably a Nigerian producer or something. Have you heard of so, the brand new um, American Afrobeats uh, wow. musician? He's new on the on, on the scenes. Wow. Chris Brown. Wow. Yeah, no, wow. no, that was definitely. Wow. So, <laughs> Chris Brown know, is totally Nigerian think, at this point. And I think that if if I mean that per particular person I was talking about that, just I, I strongly feel it came from a point of hate. Mm. The way yeah, he sounded, sounded. banned it, and all of that. It's not, ex just like Titi said, it's like he called us greedy. Why? Because we are making money from the music we make. Right. People enjoy the music. Yeah. People, the people are streaming the music. As Titi said, mm. it's what the people want, yeah, they will demand. give them. And, you understand? and then the person on the podcast said something very important. He said, instead of pushing for a ban, you now push for, um, where was that? Cameroon. Cameroon. Cameroonians mm. to embrace their sounds more mm. and probably enjoy, want yeah. to actually be a part of their own sound mm -hmm. more as opposed to saying, oh, ban Nigeria. You ban it, you are just... Uh, In the <laughs> end, the, they, they can always they appeal, can. they can appeal to their artists to, you know, start working on more... Maybe, maybe might... it's just the production that's and not... Aside yeah, yeah. that, we also maybe. have to admit maybe. to the fact that very, I mean, in Africa generally, Nigerians are, I don't want to use the word hated, but beefed. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, you were talking about art to me. It's not too long we yeah. had Ghanaians, and even the yeah. other time we had um, people that went to Ghana sell. We, mm. Is it like, is, is, it, is it struggle, right? You, you, gotta, you guys are, like are too good at what you do. Larger than life or, and all of that. And we inter yeah. exactly, we intimidate we inter we inter we inter we inter them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they lost, so, so it's not far fetched, to be but, honest. But you have to admit one thing. Nigerians, artists, or whatever industry they're mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. they are hardworking. Of course. They push the envelope. Of course. And they always push for quality. Yeah, very true. And that stands the test very of time. Very true. Even, even Which is why you still have Two Faces songs like African Queens still Evergreen. sounding evergreen. Yeah. evergreen. They push and push and push. Even the Nollywood industry is, well, once upon a time, Ghanaian and Nigerian movies were a thing. Yeah. Do you understand? That collaboration was yeah. tight. But yeah. now nah, I'm not even sure what's happening anymore. A lot of the it's Ghanaian the actors I'm live here now. Oh, they do, they do they? They still do. Some of them do. Do they still do? Yeah. Wow. Like we have Maoli. Okay. We have, well, Juliet is not uh, exactly Ghanaian, but she lived in Ghana for a long time. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was true. recognized. Yeah. I mean, I she think she came from there. there. Yeah. She came from there, yeah. came here. There are quite a few others, mm -hmm. mm. you know. Um, Ajit, Michael. I mean, there were so many yeah. collaborations of Ajit. like Ghanaian mm -hmm. and uh, Nigerian movies, mm. but it's not. It's, it's not. That's Chris Atta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. Chris Atta is not Nigerian. Good. Yeah. Yes. So, and we embrace them. We're mm. very welcoming people. So yeah. why 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 isn't it? Why doesn't it seem like it's same from the other side? Our other neighbors. We don't. I just think that their 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 industry is not yet that yeah. thriving. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perhaps maybe with the collaborations and all of the mm -hmm. you know little suggestions here. If they put that, then perhaps maybe they'll 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 get the and. Yeah. We're over we 250,000, exactly. oh, sorry, million yeah. Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to the rest of Africa, it's like we're like half of Africa. So <laughs> Actually. Relatively, if yeah. you So it's in your best interest to jump yeah, on. <laughs> as opposed to struggle to fall off. Hear you. Yeah. They, they'll even start copying our fashion right after. In fact, they, they, they do it right after Reza. And Hello. All. Plug, plug. She didn't get it. She didn't get the plug. Wow. In any case, what do you think? Share with us. Use the hashtag WakeUpNigerianTVC. We'd love to know. We'll be back.